The Seven Stages of NoFab Stage 1 Decision Today, you're gonna do it. You've done your research, you've reflected upon yourself and your place in the world, and you have decided. No more porn, no more masturbation, you deserve a better life. You know what you're worth, and you're willing to go out and get it. You, my friend, are starting your NoFap journey. Stage 2. Hype. Day 1 rolls around, and you are filled with hype. Your imagination runs rampant with excitement. You can't help but to dream about your future self. Let's face it, the thought of improving yourself thrills you. And even though the image of porn is still fresh in your mind, it fails to successfully tempt you. You're doing this. Your mind is set. This initial rush of elation and motivation blocks out any possibility of even considering a relapse this early. So far, NoFap is easy and you couldn't be more pumped. Stage 3. Shock. Now time for your first real test. That quick hit of excitement and motivation fades away just in time for the grueling parts of NoFap to start. Your pain peaks around day 8 as your brain is fiending for PMO like a crack addict looking for another hit. Your inner mind is begging you to return to your old ways, your old neurochemistry. This is the point in your journey when you are most likely to relapse. But you tell your mind no, you want change. You want to fight the pain and earn the right to a better life. This whole experience is very foreign to your brain. Your natural levels are spiraling out of control. Your PMO addiction has been a part of you for so long that you have unconsciously adapted to it. You relied on it to function normally. And that is blaringly obvious now that you have a chance to see yourself without it. Your mind and body is in complete shock. Long-term use of porn and masturbation, which is very unnatural to our ancient programming, has disrupted your baseline levels of dopamine and testosterone, and stabilized them at distorted amounts. But by destroying the pillar that supported these unnatural levels, you have completed the first step to becoming the real, true version of yourself. Becoming the happy, healthy, successful winner that you naturally are. But before you can be that person you know you can be, you must make it past the 28 day mark before you can see real progress and ease the pain. This shock state also makes you the most vulnerable to feel the negative side effects of NoFab. During this stage, you're exposed to the worst symptoms, flatline, brain fog, wet dreams, and blue balls, just to name a few. This is not to worry though. These things are necessary for your body to reset and they will not last very long. The human brain has the ability to adapt and rewire faster than any other organism known to man. Stage 4. Reprogramming Finally, things stop going down and start going up. Every day you're getting better, and little by little, your mind is beginning to learn how to function in this new state. The shock phase may have hit you hard, but now that your brain has recovered, it has came back even stronger. For the first time in your NoFap journey, you finally get to feel the benefits. Your dopamine and testosterone levels are rising back to normal every day. You notice improvement in your social life, higher energy, more attraction from women, and insane motivation. You are dominating life and loving it. Now that you have seen your hard work and sacrifice pay off, you are even more driven and passionate than you were in the hype phase. Stage 5. Stabilization. You know that you still have all your great benefits, but some days, it sure doesn't feel like it. All the great benefits that you obtain from NoFap are still there, but the euphoric feeling of getting better every day is not. You have officially plateaued. Now that your brain is fully detoxed and reprogrammed, your natural levels have stopped rapidly rising and they have stabilized. This halt in advancement, this natural pause, robs you of your electric motivation, and you are officially bored of this. You've had all these benefits for so long, they are not the sensational new benefits that you remember. They are just another piece of your everyday, ordinary life. The original success was all good and fun and everything, but in a weird way, right now, it is even harder not to relapse than it was just starting out. Your inner mind begins rationalizing the situation, trying to convince you to relapse again. You tell yourself, you've made it this far, you've already got all your benefits, you deserve a reward for all your hard work. You haven't had an urge in so long that you may find yourself unequipped to fight this inner battle, making you yet again 
vulnerable to relapse, losing all the benefits that you forgot were there. This boredom of plateauing, combined with the unpreparedness to fight an urge, makes this a very difficult situation to not relapse in. This is by far the hardest stage of NoFab, but you know you have what it takes to stay strong. You know you will make it the 90 days. Stage 6. Downhill You did it. You completed the full 90-day cycle required to fully reset from PMO. Not only have you obtained and maintained all the rewards and benefits from NoFap, you have shown that you have the strength and the determination to stay on NoFap no matter how difficult it gets. You have proven to yourself that you can do this no matter how hard it gets, even when you are not motivated. Once you pass that 90-day mark, it all gets easier from there. The rest of your journey is all downhill. You will still have to fight off urges in the future, but you are more than disciplined to do so. The difficulty you will face in the future is dramatically less than anything you have experienced up to this point. You take this chance to reflect on your journey and look back at how far you've came. You find a sense of fulfillment and pride deep within yourself. Stage 7. Infinity and Beyond You finally begin to question how long you really want to go on NoFap. If you have not had sex during your 150 day streak, some studies suggest that continuing to maintain full semen retention may pose some health risks. However, there are also many studies that say it's perfectly healthy to not ejaculate for years and that continuing full semen retention past this point may give you phenomenal health benefits. You do your research and weigh your options on what you would like to do. If you do decide that you would like to ejaculate and sex is not an option, it may not be the worst idea to masturbate the choice is yours. However, this is absolutely not an excuse to watch porn again. Porn is far, far worse than masturbation. Some people even claim they masturbate without porn semi-frequently after completing a NoFap cycle and they still retain all of their benefits. If you would like to learn what effect sex has on NoFap, you can find that video on my channel. At this point, you have shown that you have the discipline, character, and intelligence to be your own judge. You truly have the ability to make the decision that will make you the best version of yourself. You've earned the right to call yourself a true nofapper. Thank you guys so much for all the support you've shown on these last couple videos. As always, remember to like and subscribe.